was a crypto muscle coming to you with another YouTube video. Here we are in a nationally renowned worldwide. I think it is where it's at. Crypto muscle on the crypto muscle network coming to you in another video. All right, so this is a crypto death watch series video, and I hate to do this to myself. And um, doing this because, well, you know, the thing about me is that I can be loyal and I can be uh, one that can always be by the side of whatever it can be of anything you want me to be because I'm just loyal in that way. It's just... You know, Vortec United, all right, is starting to put me on the fence here. All right, even though I am the first in this space to bring you guys Vortec United, I may be the first one to to slay it as well. All right, I'm gonna have to start drawing the battle lines right now, as this is unfolding. All right, and this is what's happening here. All right, so there's a lot of things unraveling. And what am I, you know, I, I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are thinking, man, what is Crypto Muscle talking about? He's just going on and on about stuff here. I'm trying to get to that, all right? It's just because Vortex United has been so good, but it's just too bad what's happening right now, all right? And they're dropping the ball a little bit. And there was a very telling, there was a, like a Zoom call today that I watched, all right, of your numb nuts boy here that likes to buy subs and you know he bought these subs <laughs> and uh you know buying views and all that stuff you know what i'll give him this right here so these right here you could tell these are not bought all right these views because that's what you're going to be i mean that's just what it is right what are you looking at Fourteen thousand views thirteen thousand. it's ridiculous these look at this this is all ridiculous right so you could tell all right, so he's really trying to pump up himself as, you know, edgy, cool, but he's just a cocky, arrogant bitch, all right? So let's try to get that out of the way because um, I'm trying to lay the foundation of what I, what I saw today. And so, you know, this call was about, you know, Jensen being on to kind of, uh, I guess you could say, um, quiet the community a little bit. You know, it's been kind of uh, in this sort of, uh, you know, uproar about what's been happening, right? Because obviously what, what happened? It hasn't paid this week, right? And so, you know, based on the last update, right? This was the last update um, that they're performing an update and scaling the payment system, right? Due to the huge growth and increasing number of payments, users have to adjust the capabilities of the system. So, you know, we talked about this, all right? They're going to go from a semi-automated to the fully automated system, all right, on dedicated servers. They said they'll be back around seven to eight days, all right? So this was posted on the 14th. And today is now the 17th. Uh, so that was the 14th, so seven to eight days, all right? That's around Monday, Tuesday, and if not earlier, right? They're just giving it more time. But if they get it done earlier than that, which they feel they might be, they'll, they'll put it out there and communicate that. All right, and this is supposed to improve, you know, the payment systems and all that in terms of what how it pays out and all that stuff. Plus, they're going to, you know, honor the outstanding transactions that are out there right now, like such as mine, right? I put in for, I believe, $13,000 to withdraw. And... Great news is that for everyone that once that upgrade is done, it will offer instant settlements. All right, no more waiting. Also on working days, if you want to withdraw your commissions, you can do so. Once transaction is approved, it will be sent directly to your wallet. Same goes for trading rewards. Once your trading rewards are added to your balance on the weekends, you can withdraw it. And once a transaction is approved, it will also be sent immediately. So all of a sudden, it's kind of weird, right? Because... CloudFi went from uh, instant withdrawals to now manual, which hasn't paid out anything right now. 
And Vortec was a manual withdrawal that paid typically within 24 hours. Last couple weeks is kind of pushing that to more of 48 hours to the point where right now I didn't pay this week. All right, for Vortec. But they're going to go instant once they come back online, which I find, wow, you know, like, I don't know, I just kind of find it interesting and, uh, you know, that it's going to go that way, if it does, right? So, you know, some of the red light, you know, that has come upon me, you know, like, oh, shit, red light, red light. All right, and there's a few things, all right? So this Zoom call by Bitch Boy, all right, let me just pull him up because that way you guys can see what I'm talking about here. So he did the Zoom call with Jolly Jensen. All right, let me roll it down here so you can see Jensen. There he is right there, side by side, all right? So, you know, is it Zoom call for this sort of Q&A and to kind of clear the mud that's happening right now? Uh, it's, it, it's like he laid the groundwork for the story about why Jensen is doing what he was doing and all that stuff and why things are happening before Jensen could explain everything himself because maybe he could have had a different story that was conjured up to explain why things are happening the way things are happening. But because he laid out the story, he just agreed with it. You know, he just agreed with it and went along with it. When it could have just been a completely different story, right? Well, now we don't know because he already came up with the story. He just agreed with it. All right, and uh, I mean, it's it's not to bag on Jensen because I like Jensen. He's a cool guy, and uh, you know, like I said, I I introed the platform in this space first before anybody else, before even douchebag over here did. A month, I, uh, about th- I would say three to four weeks before this, you know, douchebag came on. I was ahead of the game, baby, you know. But um, anyhow, so. Now, of course, he goes with the story, and it's like, yeah, thanks, uh, dirtbag, for, uh, you know, speaking on his behalf. Just like how this dirtbag here spoke on behalf of the community, saying, oh, yeah, Jan, we forgive you, and stuff. It's like, shit, you know, are you reading the sentiments of the community? Because I don't know, I don't think the pulse of the community agrees with you. But you just spoke on their behalf, right? Like so he does. He loves to step on people's toes, right? Just because, you know, I was trying to lay the groundwork for the first interview with Jensen. Again, stepping on people's toes. This douchebag decides to, you know, weasel in and kiss ass and mark out and all this other bullshit that he does, you know, and grab the interview. So I said, all right, I'm just going to sidestep it and keep it moving, right? That's what I do. And so, that's what happened there. And as this Zoom call goes on, all right, going back to that now, um, you know, he kind of answered some questions. He explained about what was going on after he laid out the groundwork on why, all right. Um, And then he turned it over to the dumbass Dora, all right. And And she really proved how dumb she really is, all right, proved my theory right, right, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, and, um, you know, he tells her, hey, answer, you know, put out the questions for Jensen to answer, so she's kind of just reading it, glosses over, oh, we answered that one, we answered that one, we answered that one, right, until uh, Alicia and Miss Queen D stepped in and said, hey, 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 Dora, bitch. <laughs> All right, stop it. Stop it. All right, because I know you're just going over the questions, but you're not letting Jensen answer the questions. Read those questions back, bitch. All right, you know that's what that was on their mind. And so she backtracked and put those questions back out there, read it verbatim. For Jensen to answer the question. So, you know, the biggest question, obviously, is are, are we going to get paid and, and are we, are we going to get honored in terms of what's already put out there? Or do we got to cancel the transaction and resubmit withdrawals? What's what's going to do? And so, of course, Jensen answered all those questions. Uh, you know, payment's supposed to restart next week and all that stuff once this thing's back on. And 
explained, reiterated about this whole new system and the timing of what you can do and all that stuff. All right. And also, as you know, he was talking along and him, they kind of talked about this sort of you know, new plan that's going to be implemented in the back office. I don't know if it's in there yet. Let me take a look. All right, well, never mind. I don't have my 2FA at the moment, so I can't log in. But uh, that's that's on me, though. Um, but yeah, so they, they kind of just touched on this whole idea of like a new plan that's going to be added in the back office. And it's going to be like a little short-term mini plan. And you're supposed to be able to, you know, put in a decent chunk of money into it and make some big gains in a short term. Um, and again, you know, <laughs> another red light for me, right? And uh, he kind of just touched on it, but didn't really go too deep into it. He said that this is something that they're going to do. They're going to post it uh, today. So we'll see, right? We're going to come back and uh, re review this sort of new plan and see what happens, all right? As we're gearing up towards the weekend, it's Thursday, uh, we're going to see what really is going to happen, all right? But I'm just not feeling it, all right? And I'll tell you what it is, all right? So first, it's odd that the system, payment system, started having issues all of a sudden, right? I mean... Yeah, you know, and my situation was very coincidental. I mean, I, I don't think it it was part of the problem that was going on with the payout payment systems, but man, it was just it's so coincidental how I was having issues, right? Just like how all of a sudden <laughs> throughout time, which I've proven since the very beginning that I pulled out at the same time every week since September of last year. All right, and all of a sudden, was it like three weeks ago now, that it became a problem because it's after the deadline. And I've been doing it after the cutoff time for, from the very beginning. And I explained that to support. Go look at the history of it. Look at the times, right? And there was like, oh, no, you're past the time, right? So all of a sudden it became a problem, which is kind of odd to me. And then, of course, the, the ERC-20 bug. And, oh, you know, the Bitcoin shouldn't have put, been put back in the back office. It should have it should have kept it off. And we all know why Bitcoin's taken off besides volatility is because people are, are accumulating and, and uh, you know, blockchain fees, all that stuff. So Bitcoin, you know, shouldn't have been up, but it was put up. And now that held off people's withdrawals as well. So, you know, just these odd coincidental times that's, that's been happening as to me man you know it's just like the red light keeps getting brighter now right now right you know and now on top of that uh you have this sort of new short-term plan being added and usually and i hate to say this it, it's like a last minute money grab all right so this is going to be like a money grab and why do I feel like that? You know, I'm just feeling like this is just a money grab coming. All right, because, well, we've seen this all before many times in many different platforms when they offer that sort of money. You know, hey, you know, you put in this amount of money and, you know, you're going to earn this amount of percentage and this amount of time, you know, take out this special, right? And uh, it's always a special to talk about how something's coming or to thanks for your weight. This is what we're trying to do as a bonus. And more times than not, it turns out to be bad. It's as in you know, here, you know, they take the money. Oh, and by the way, throughout this time with uh, having this money issues of paying out, <laughs> uh, deposits are still open. All right. So uh, there's no problems with deposits. All right. Uh, if this payment system only has issues with withdrawals, but deposits are fine. So, but if it's if it's the same system, how's it only having withdrawal problems, but just deposits are fine? I don't know. It's just it's it's weird stuff to me, and uh, and it's just wild stuff going on right now. And so, I don't know. I'm just feeling like this is just a money grab coming, 
And if I'm wrong, I'll, I'll, I'll be the first to put put out my statement out there and be like, hey, you know what? I'm sorry, guys, I'm wrong. But I'm feeling like it, though, that this is, this this may be it, all right? So right now, 50-50 chance of things could be happening, right? Uh, so there's a chance that this new plan that's going to come out, that they're going to put out in the back office. And, of course, who's going to advertise it? Your douchebag boy over here is going to advertise it. Because he's become the face man of Vortec now, which is fine, you know, because uh, he loves to do that sort of stuff, right? He, he, he did that for many other platforms and bit him in the ass, so I would love this to just bite him straight in the ass again, and I'm just going to laugh all in your face. I, I, I'm going to tr- completely trash you even more. I can't wait. All right, I can't wait. To prove myself right, and then I'll be like, "Yeah, Marco's dumbass, bitch boy, you are fucked again, right?" But so, um, but before that happens, though, we we all know he's gonna be the one that's gonna sit there and say, "Hey, check out this plan, guys," right? Like a fucking nerd, and he's gonna do that shit, and then uh, we're gonna see what happens. Watch, guarantee he's gonna be the first bitch boy. To put out this new plan and say, hey guys, you know, and all this stuff. All right. And, uh, yeah. And when this money grab comes and goes and the money doesn't come in for each of us, you know that this is a turning point right now. That next week, if it doesn't deliver, there's no more excuses. You can't say, oh, it's a payment processor issue. You know, they, if anything, they might extend the time. To continue to collect on this so-called uh, special plan they they have here, just to kind of you know grab more money, and after that, this could be off in the sunset right here. So you have that as a big, huge, looming possibility. Or number two, it just pays and it continues business as usual. And like I said, I'll be the first to apologize. I'll be like, yep. I'll even apologize to, you know, bitch boy here. Uh, my, you know, I'll even throw out an apology to him too and say, you know what, I'm sorry, bitch boy. And I'll, I'll even stand myself correct and I'll even call him by his real name. But I think bitch boy, because he sucks Jan's dick all the time, all right, um, I, I feel like I'm going to be right on this one. And I hate, I just hate to do that. I hate to be that. All right, and that's fine, you know, um, you know, I I got to be the guy to slay this, all right? And I'm going to be the first to fire that warning shot right now. So as much as I would hate to do this to myself, I'm doing it, all right? And that's what I feel like it's happening. I just feel like this is what's happening. I would hate to, for this to happen because I'm, the what's been happening right now, the payouts and everything has been it's been paying nicely, I have to say. It's been paying out very nicely, but these now hiccups, these last couple of weeks, is not is not right, you know. So we'll see what happens, though. I wanted to give you this big update, all right, because right now we're at a turning point in time right now with the things that's been happening and what may happen in the upcoming days you know, I just got this gut feeling, man, I, I just, I just hope I'm wrong, you know, but I, I don't know, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm right, and I'm just going to just slam the shit out of him, too, this, this douchebag right here, I'm going to slam the shit out of him when I'm right, too, I can't wait, uh, but anyhow, it's been a good ride, you know, and, um, you know, all I got to say is, you know, this, you know, bitch boy here, and dumbass Dora, they're they're very naive, all right. Very naive. They just believe anybody, anything, and any anything and anybody tells them, right? You know, for example, the the Facebook thing, all right. We all know, a great many of us know, all right. I can name names of who would know that things can be not as it seems, all right. And like I said, I'm blurring the lines just a tad here. All right, let's name some names. Uh, me, <laughs> Queen Wiki, 
Renee. <laughs> Maybe Heekmit might know. All right. So when we, when I throw out names like that, oh, and Jensen, of course, all right. I got to, you know, we all know about how things not quite as it seems, all right. And with the whole Facebook thing and, oh, you have over 200 something friends. I got over 300 friends, by the way, with Jensen. But <laughs> I, I don't want to be like the guy that I'll be like, hey, I'm going to let the cat out of the bag type of stuff. But, you know, let's just say things are not white, what it seems, all right? I'll just say it, leave it at that once again when it comes to this Facebook thing. And I, I, here's a hint. It was a little bit too much was still left and the cleanup job wasn't as good as it could have been Ooh, that's a lot to say there so um, we have that right and then you know just the other things that's going on you know like this whole you know issue and stuff going on uh, the tomfoolery right it, it's just <laughs> funny as hell to me you know and um but that's just one fact all right among many facts that i bring in this space is one experience two common sense three well i don't make shit up all right i everything i tell is because all the information is always out there in this space you know how we always say you got to do your research well shit the wealth of information that's out there and when you do your research you you'll find it all out there like there's there's nothing I have to make up I don't have to make up some story I don't got to do anything because it's all out there it's as simple as that and so um you know I did touch on Cloudfy earlier right and it's just weird with Cloudfy right now because there's still no explanation as to what's going on all right let's take a look at Cloudfy right now and see if there's anything new has come out of it because I don't think there's been anything new right the last statement uh, was said by the admin that oh you know an explanation will be coming today or will be coming soon right let me see what was said because I know that um, let me see here I'll, I'll go back to that what was said because Everybody was kind of waiting for that response, and you know, it just didn't happen, right? So, let me see if I can find it. Um, let's see. Yeah, and, and messages are being deleted too, by the way. Um, yeah, there's a fake group out there for Cloudfy, so don't fall for it. All right, just let you know, just don't fall for it. Um, trying to see here if I can find it. Well, anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, here's another bitch boy copycat move. Oh, that's fake sauce, right? Get the fuck out of here, man. You know, when I, when I see shit like that, oh, here we go. So, we apologies to all of you. We are dealing with some issues. We're going to inform you all tomorrow about the current situation and what to expect. All right, so that was said on the 15th, all right? And then yesterday rolls around and uh, no explanation, you know? So, it's kind of like in this holding pattern right now, um, you know, about what's going on and stuff like that. So... Yeah, still nothing, no explanation. And that's rolling on, what, two days now? From that statement. <laughs> but still no explanation for roughly, not quite a week yet, but, you know, it's supposed to be paid out Monday. Didn't come Monday. And so there's been no explanation since about it, you know. And so um, these are the elephants in the room right now because... You know, these platforms have been big over the last few months. Funds, you could throw that in as well. So, big three. All right. And, um, I don't know. It's just this whole, 
cease and desist type stuff how it was addressed by Vortec saying that oh well he hasn't been served any sort of documentation or paperwork on it so you know all that stuff he said oh he's been seeing it and hearing it but he hasn't been served anything that was another explanation right Cloudfy though I you know what I think personally I personally think that that Jan ruined anything that Cloudfy was building just the reputation and I think just him being connected to various platforms put a dark <laughs> you know, dark cloud over Cloudfy enough to ruin what Cloudfy had going on and it was just you know too much too much damage to the Cloudfy brand and um to me that's what messed up Cloudfy on top of the stupid multiple withdrawals daily that these idiots and many others have done that would steal money from the pockets of Cloudfy because now they're on the hook to pay additional blockchain fees for these multiple times daily right imagine a few thousand people pulling out money multiple times daily because you had dumb asses like Marcus and Jan, you know, having fun with it and say, hey guys, check it out. And here, look at this. I did this in five seconds. <laughs> and all that stuff, right? And so, uh, yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. All right. You, you fucked everybody over. But of course, they're not going to do that. They're going to they're gonna deflect from that. And coming soon, when everybody jams up Jan, Jan again on his uh, chat, he's going to close the chat once again, all right? Oh man, I can't wait to see that because he can't handle that shit. That, you know, when when all this shit storm happens, he can't handle that. And of course, Jan just closes the chat, you know, because he can't handle it. That's just what it is. That's just how he is. And uh, oh yeah, here's another thing that Bitch Boy spoke for and for Jan here, rather than Jan speaking for Jan. Oh, uh, he's not into doing titles anymore. You know, he's gone past the title stuff bullshit you know because Jan is so egotistical that he's going to be titled again one day because he loves being the CEO of everything that's just the way he is so get out of here with that bullshit that's why Marco you're so blasphemous because everything you say is a bunch of lies a bunch of shit a bunch of crap just like this story you conjured up with Jensen just like the fake religion you know that you, you know, in the guise of, oh, I need Fridays and Saturdays off because of religious purposes. But yet, you chime in from time to time throughout those two days, answering stuff on Telegram and Discord because you can't help yourself. Come on, man. I mean, this shit's so easy to see. Just like when you buy the views and subs, it's so easy to see. When Dora has, you know, views and subs has gone up, you know, expedition, exp <laughs> exponentially. It's so easy to see it. That's why you guys are so full of shit. And I love calling you guys out for that shit because you guys make yourself easy targets to do so. So all anybody out there right now probably disagrees with everything I said about the upcoming future coming here. But man, Cloudfy is looking really cloudy right now because it's unexplained about what's happening. But the more time that is doing this the more it is not gonna pay because that's just unhealthy for the platform itself and I hate to say that too I like Cloudfy too and uh, Vortec you, you you heard me earlier I don't know I'm just not feeling it right now I just, I'm just, I don't know I just don't feel that you know and so uh, we're gonna see what happens though, all right um, and like I said, I, I had to fire off the first warning shot for Vortec. And uh, I'll be right, though. I think I'm going to be right. So uh, Cloud5, man, I don't know what's going on with that. But, man, it's not I'm not feeling very positive. The as more days go on and it's not paying, it's not looking very good. So just saying, just putting that out there. All right. So uh, yeah, that's your latest on the Crypto Death Watch. It's focused these two today but man it, the facts are real it's damn real 
comment down below. I'll see you in the next one.